Hey there, early birds. It's me, Gil. And me, Taylor. We're out here for another tour of our upcoming sale this Saturday and Sunday, 16th and 17th. Out here in Angelino Heights. Angelino Heights. This is a very wonderful Victorian home. Classic to the Los Angeles area. Built in 1895. My goodness, that's old. And a lot of the stuff in there is very old as well. So we're gonna have a great time giving you a tour. We just wanted you to see it from the outside before. Yeah, you don't see these every day. That's true. It's gonna be a very special day for you early bird shoppers. I agree. As you walk in, you'll definitely get an immediate vibe for the house yeah. because there's art coming everywhere. out everywhere. everywhere. There's tons of art. A lot of original Leo Politi pieces, who was an Italian-American artist who did a lot of children's books about L.A. and the subcultures of L.A. Yeah, and just a lot of Los Angeles history memorabilia Tons of just it. everywhere in this house. So let's take a look in here. This is a beautiful Lucite set. Lucite. Very nice. It is designer, I believe. Uh, Charles Hollis Jones. There's the, the original name. designs for that baby. And the signature. All yeah. three are by the designer. We also have a lot of carnival glass. Not circus glass. Beautiful. And there's more over here as well. We also have tons of food dogs available. A lot of food dogs. So fans of food dogs get over here. If you're into food dogs, this is the sale for you. Exactly. Uh, we also have some nice, you know, just antique furniture, armoire, little teddy bear. Let's take a look at the red room. The red lounge room. So, and here we have a bunch of vinyl. Why don't you give them a look at this vinyl? Wow, let's take a quick flip through here. This is some high of like energy High energy disco. disco stuff. Yeah, if you're trying to do a high energy disco DJ set, this is the Oh yeah, th here. this is the one. Then we also got a nice uh, stereo over here. Some speakers that go with it. But it's a Marantz model 2270. And a Garrard turntable. Very nice equipment here, folks. And we have a couple cameras. I believe there's a Canon in here. We'll get some photos up. You can check that out on the link in the description. A few Frank Romero pieces. Oh yeah. Very cool. And then this nice mirror. Perfect for tall people. Hmm. So if we continue on down this way, we'll make our way to the dining room. It's very sweet. Very sweet. I think it progressively gets sweeter, sweeter as you go down. Yeah, it's true. So okay. again, more uh, carnival glass this in punchable form. And then we have this beautiful Italian inlaid uh, dining furniture. Gorgeous. The table, we got the bench, we got the two buffets. Beautiful. Mm. Look at this. Then we also have walls adorned with Leo Politi. And why don't you take a look at this picture and show them how beautiful this house is. Incredible. 1895, right there. So we have a collection of, uh, you know, forks and serving utensils. High quality. Highest of quality. You want to tell them about this stuff over here? Yeah, so we got some more um, of the silver plate where, um, you know, if you're, if you're hosting a party for your friends and family, if you want to spice it up, make it look nice and stuff for them. And this is even more special than usual because it's from the Biltmore Hotel. Oh my goodness. Stamps, 1922. This is why this is here. That's right. That's a, the Biltmore Orchestra. Pretty cool. LA, like we said, a lot of LA history stuff here. So shall we continue into the kitchen and then outside, Gil? We shall. So in the kitchen we have lots of beautiful things. So you got your glassware here, you got ceramic. Oh, there's a set of Bauer stuff here. Well, Thanksgiving's coming up, but we, we got, got a, a Bauer, Bauer gravy, gravy boat. boat. Very nice. And then we have this nice dining set. And now, hold on. I just, Gil, I gotta take a moment to really commend you for how great of a job 
you did with this red table. Well, thank you, Taylor. You know, if you saw last week's video, you'll know that we were really appreciating Tyler's display skills on that red table. And I think Gil really took a note, you know? And, I did. Yeah. So we just like to, you know, commend each other when we do some good work. It keeps us going. That's right. So then we got some cast iron over here. Beautiful selection of cast some iron. Griswold. Oh yeah, the number of Griswold actually. Yes, yes, yes. Very nice. Let's take a quick peek outside at some of the really uh, fun stuff. Let us sneak a peek, shall we? Let us sneak a peek. So we have these really beautiful vintage glass top patio tables. I mean, they all had like this iron base right here. Very beautiful. Cool. And then uh, kitchen goods and gadgets, Pyrex. And we're gonna go take a look at some of the old stuff that Gil and I uncovered, oh, from the basement, starting with these Westways magazines. My goodness. So they range from 50s, 60s, 60s 70s, 70s, all the way to 80s. 80s. Yeah. If you like Westways, this is a sale for you. This is all Westways. And above it, we got all our practical goods for you, you practical people. Oh, yeah. Let's take a look real quick. We got a lot to see upstairs still. We do. So. All of this stuff was under the house, like these old uh, glass, they're like a, it's not stained glass, but cut glass maybe. Oh yeah. Taylor and I were in there digging all this treasure up for you fine people out there. That's right, some old light pictures. Beautiful, beautiful. Gorgeous. So? Now we'll continue, oh wait, why don't we show them this side? Oh yeah, let's do that. This is something we found in the basement below. Angelino Heights Community Organization. Nice depiction of the trolley that used to connect Angelino Heights to downtown. Very cool. Very cool indeed. Now we will make our way back inside the house. We shall. Along the way we'll see some more of the fine wares Sonia displayed. Very nice. Useful wares. Very useful. And then, as you're walking backwards through the house, watch your step. Indeed. So this sweet little hallway here has tons, tons of fantastic of art. art. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Very nice. Very serene scenes. Yes, very serene. More polity. Real polity right Lots there. Lots of polity here. Continue Very through here. Cool. Now we're back at the entrance. Let us go upstairs. We shall go upstairs. We will see more amazing treats and treasures. We're just getting started, folks. We are. Now as you're going upstairs, again, more art. More art. Gil skillfully placed. Very cool. We'll see you this weekend. You're going to love this place just to see the house. Saturday and Sunday. 16th and 17th. This is a polity as well. Kind of a unique piece for him. So we're still getting this together, but it uh, gives you an idea of how much stuff there is. There really here. is a lot of stuff. Uh, so we got some vintage bottles up here. Wow. Old books. A lot of art. Why don't we just you know, go around and yeah, let's do that. So we got some antique furniture here. A nice chest down there. Some old uh, portraitures. Some food dog stamps. Some more food dogs. Oops. Then we got a whole ton of Christmas stuff. A lot and there was, we didn't show, but outside there's also a lot of Christmas stuff. It's coming up. It is. It's always coming up, and now it's really coming up. It is. So then we got, you know, just some cool treasures over here. Vintage toaster. Bunch of little interesting antiquities. And everywhere. these are some really uh, beautiful pieces of Victorian furniture. Uh, our client actually had these completely restored recently and reupholstered. So, so they're in good shape. Very yeah. good shape. Ready to sit on. Some nice Lalique pieces here. Lalique crystal. Oh, very yeah. beautiful. Very nice. I think that would look great in your home, Gil. I agree. So over here we have a collection of Los Angeles uh, and Southern California themed ashtrays, wow. mugs, dishes. And you know what? Underneath the tables, we got a lot of stuff too for oh, those yeah. of you that like to rummage. California Cloisonne, beautiful. 
More Los Angeles plates. Lots of LA memorabilia, for yeah. sure. Very cool if you're interested so in more carnival history. glass. More carnival glass. You thought there was enough? You know, and let's a take a look over on this side. side. We've uncovered a ton of old photos uh, of Los Angeles and the surrounding areas. Beautiful. Really cool stuff. Oh, yeah. Look at the old uh, trolleys that used to be here. Just this stacks and stacks of history. Photo of the, at the Biltmore. Wow. And then we have some old Leo Politi uh, children's books here. Interesting stuff he illustrated and wrote. Yep. Then we have uh, you know, some vintage playbills here. Just a whole bunch of interesting stuff. If you like history and you know, just looking through old stuff for the graphics or whatever, this is a great sale. Some uh, culturally incentive children's book. Oh, yeah. Then we have a wash stand here. Cool helmet. We can take a look over here real quick just so we get an idea so a lot of this stuff was all stored here waiting for our crew to unearth it and i gotta say they've done a fantastic job it was packed it was just there. filled to the brim to the brim but now we have tools on display oh yeah power tools you know good old rummagey knick rummagey stuff for you those of you that like to dig through stuff well i guess this is uh where we say goodbye until next time until this weekend. This weekend. Saturday and Sunday. 16th and 17th. Angelino Heights will be here. Come take a look. Even if you don't buy anything, just look at the house. Just please. say hi. Just that too. Why not?